YouTube channel Shiggers. My name is Nongza Moshangase and this is my YouTube channel where I speak about all things books, DIY and lifestyle. If that is a jam or one of the things I mentioned is your thing, please do hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell to get notified every single time your homegirl post a video. It is currently spring slash summertime in South Africa and the weather is not looking very summery right now. Kind of gloomy. Um, but I have a pretty face on and I thought, you know what? Why not just do a wrap up and do my maybe reads for November. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I read a total number of three books and explored new authors, which was kind of nice for me. But so the first book that I read is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. This book follows Lily. Lily has hasn't always had it easy um she lived in a very abusive home her father was abusive to her mom she moves away from home her dreams has always been to be a florist so in a time in boston she meets this guy riley and every single time they see each other it's always like sparks right the problem is lily is a hopeless romantic and riley is a relationship foe but they try to navigate their relationship and this connection and this attraction that they feel towards each other but the problem starts when lily's first love reappears in her life atlas who is my babe things just become messy and this book touches um, on a lot of things and it wasn't the romance that people sold it to be like you get the boy meets girl you know girl and boy fall in love in the beginning but as you go along the way it just becomes heavy like it just becomes heavy it deals with a lot of heavy stuff like suicide alcohol you know attempted rape abuse like domestic abuse it just deals with a lot of things and it made me see so many of these things in a different light i felt some sort of empathy to certain characters it made me want to understand where certain people are coming from and how they got to certain points changed my view um on certain topics that i've mentioned but i don't want to ruin it for you guys i enjoyed this book it's just that i don't like being sold lies the instagram community basically said oh my gosh it's a romance and i get it there are romances but majority of this book cousin is very 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 heavy like if you follow me on instagram you would or on twitter i was ranting about how this book just really made me anxious but um overall it was a good book and it was a great introduction for me to colleen hoover's work one of my guilty pleasure reads i think I kind of uh felt that her work is the type of work that are like my guilty pleasures which is romance that is totally cliche that is totally predictable but still you can enjoy it the second book that i read was ugly love by colleen hoover also so ugly love we follow tate and miles this is your typical friends with benefits but there is something more between us. Tate and Miles get into this friends with benefits kind of relationship. Miles has two rules. Don't ask me about my past. Don't expect a future from me. Pretty hard to navigate that kind of friends with benefits relationship when you can see how well you guys are together. Time goes on, they get to see how much they really are like a great pair, like they fit together so well. This book was kind of heavy, heartbreaking, you know, at some at some point. You got to see how when you don't, don't let go of situations that have happened in the past, they can come to hunt you and or they can cripple you and put you in a standstill place without you even realizing that they've put you there. I really enjoyed this book. I loved that, you know, the author did the thing of it gave us like a history of why Miles is the way he is Those are my two books from clean and ugly love is my favorite so far i'm still yet to read more there have been so many amazing reviews of her other books november 9 being number one regretting you being number two a lot of books that i cannot wait to dive into but last but not least those and butterflies this is a very quick straight to the point poetry collection by Golly m i enjoyed this book so much there are certain poems obviously i didn't um really relate to or understand but i did feel sympathy towards them i laughed at some poems guys because it was just <laughs> there is a reading blog of me like reading this book and also check out my review on instagram all of that we are done with my october wrap up let's go to november so november is kind of like a non-fiction 
November month. She was bookstagrammers or anyone in the world who loves to read books kind of encourages them to read a nonfiction read, a one or two nonfiction reads during the month of November. There are word prompts that kind of help you to navigate the type of books that you can read during the month of November. You can have your own interpretation of the word. So word number one is collection. My own interpretation of this word is collective of people. The book I have chosen for this is Pink Line by Mark Gavisa. This is a collection of essays or articles or journals of people around the world that are queer. I'm hoping to at least start it maybe but this book is on my radar for the month of November. Second word is industry. I kind of interpret it as like communications, social media kind of vibes and the book I've chosen for that is Kaya Tanga's book it's the answers for me. Basically this book is conversations that Ukai Danga has had with his audience on social media, you know, those Q&As that you do on Instagram. To some bit, you said, I love this book. I went from crying tears of laughter to tears of joy to tears of heartbreak to silent tears of shock. And knowing South Africans, I know that's true. I'm, I'm looking forward to reading this and yeah. The third word is style and I took this and I thought audiobooks. I will decide which audiobook I would love to read that is a nonfiction this month. I've chosen that I am going to do it audiobook style. <laughs> Last but not least is a treatment. So for this I have chosen Quirky Quick Guide to Having Great Sex by Tiffany Muko. I don't want to say it's a manual but I guess it's kind of like stories and essays from black queer women they're basically discussing sex i've always been a person who's always been fascinated about sex i understand that people have different experiences of it so i'm always intrigued just to hear what other people think and what experiences they've had that's my last book so that is all for this video i really do hope that you did enjoy this video if you did please hit those thumbs up comment down below if you're going to be joining on the non-fiction november month yeah, if you haven't already please do subscribe and hit that little bell to get notified every single time your home girl post a video you already know thank you guys so much for watching and until next time sugars bye